Hey guys, it's Half I am back again and this is going to be an empties video. This is my first empties video of the year. Uh, I've been planning on filming this for uh, quite a bit of time and I keep forgetting to. <laughs> hmm. uh, I am um, probably going to write all these down um, in a book, but I won't be keeping them for the year like some crazy people do because I don't have somewhere to stick them quite frankly. So let's get into what is in my little empties basket. As you can see it's kind of getting full. Um, there are a couple of declutters in here um, and yeah a whole bunch of empty stuff. So first up we have the Diggers Acetone. I get this from Bunnings. Uh, it is what I use when I do nails. Um, interestingly enough somebody made a comment about how you should only buy acetone from a nail supply because it's not the right grade if you buy it from somewhere else now diggers acetone clearly says on the front of the package like right there can you see can you see what it says this one is the same as the stuff you would get from a supplier it's just cheaper so yeah um let's see whoops we have a packet of the help at hand makeup pads i think i got these from chemist warehouse somewhere like that and then we have one of the liqueur ones which you guys see all of the time i have a Lacura Purity Organic Rosehip Face Wipe Things. Um, yeah, they, they, they were fine. They weren't great. They weren't terrible. They were just, you know, they were just. Um, the NYX Dewy Finish Makeup Finishing Spray. I don't like the smell of this. Um, the spray's okay on it. I probably wouldn't buy it again because I don't like the smell of it. It's also smaller in size than the one that I prefer from Australis which is rose hip scented smells amazing um, and is like twice the size for less money uh, we have the pink grapefruit hand and body lotion from Lycon Lycon is a brand that sells wax products for salons um, and I got it because I was buying wax stuff and from my supplier and I thought I'd try it out because I like pink grapefruit. It was a really nice hand cream. I enjoyed using it. Um, if I could get a bigger one, I probably would buy it. The e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. I need to buy this again. I need to buy it. I, I love the smell of this stuff and um, I'm more likely to do like a daily clean of my brushes. Um, than I am to deep clean my brushes. I'm sorry people um, But it's my face and I don't use my makeup brushes on anybody else The La Cura Renew Expert Wrinkle Filling Night Cream um, I've basically started another one which I think is the same burnt same one or a similar one um, it's a really nice night cream. I don't really like the fact that it's in a tub. I would prefer it to be in a squeezy tube. But there you go. The Ole Complete UV Protection Moisturizer. Um, I buy this one a lot, SPS 15. I like it. I like Ole. I've always liked Ole. I've been using Ole for a, a really long time. The La Cura Dynamic C Vitamin C Booster Serum. I really enjoyed using this. It lasted bloody ages too. Um, it's orange. It doesn't make your skin orange. It just is orange in colour. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty good. Um, if I saw it again, I probably would consider buying it. I finished a foundation. Uh, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in Ivory. Uh, when I don't have a drawer full of foundations, I will probably consider buying this one again because I did really enjoy it. Um, my skin is a little on the drier side. Um, I prefer a dewy finish to a um, shiny finish. Matte finish. Wow. 
brain no worky work uh, I have a face mask this is the Lacura hydrating face mask I like these face masks from Lacura it has left goobies everywhere though um, I finished off the last of the jojoba oil I use jojoba oil as a cuticle oil I basically take the jojoba oil I take rosehip oil and some tea tree oil and I put them all in a um, like a water pen that you'd use for art um, and I just paint it around my nails so that's and that lasted absolutely ages it doesn't look like it's very big but it did actually last ages um we have this this is one of those eyebrow bra um blade things that you use to remove hair from face like shave um i don't like this one um i think i have two more of it um i didn't like this one at all uh, the first time i used it it cut me like three times and then the second time i went to use it it didn't cut at all uh, at least not the hair so it's gone um i have this polis choice skin perfecting 8% AHA gel um, there's still some in here I don't know how much but some um, but it has been open for a significant amount of time and it's only supposed to be open for 12 months um, yeah so I'm not going to risk putting it on my skin I have uh, the matte bronzer that was in my project 2020 uh project team project pan 2020 um i'm getting rid of this because um keeps getting hard pan i've done all the trick things that people tell you to do to get rid of it and every time i then go to use it after removing the hard pan the hard pan just comes straight back i picked this up from uh shop miss a so it was like one american dollar um yeah and i have enough that i don't need to keep shit like that um, and I have three nail polishes that I am decluttering. Two of them are Shopkins ones. <sighs> These came, like, they look cute um, and all, but um, they're terrible nail polishes. <laughs> they're, they're absolute shit. I'm sorry. They just are. Um, and I'm not keeping them. And the last one is another nail polish. This is a BYS nail polish. This is called Green Goddess. I've had this for years. Um, I It was going to be in a swatch video the other day. Um, and then when I opened it, I realized that it is um, like I can turn it upside down. And it doesn't move. Um, it's very thick and goopy and uh, it smells like toxic sludge. Uh, if your nail polish smells toxic, it's probably not worth using anymore. Just saying. I mean, most people will say that nail polish smells terrible, but there's a difference between nail polish smell and toxic nail polish. Just saying. So, anyway, that is everything that um, is in my basket. My basket is empty. Uh, yeah. So, if you want to subscribe, click button it's down there click the little bell next to it if you want to get notified of when i upload new content leave me a thumbs up if you like empty type videos and leave me a comment down below i will like your comment and i'll answer any questions that you ask me and i'll see you in my next video see ya